welcome to episode 26 of Top Road Reality, right here on YouTube. 26, or, part 6. Part 6, yes. Of uh, the final WWE Conspiracy Theory with Bret Hart in on the Montreal screw job. This is it. This is the big one right here. This is the big one. This, this is, is this the is big what, one to talk about. This is what's been written in history books, wrestling history books, for there years. You go. It's a conspiracy to end all conspiracies, but with a bit of a twist. It is. It's not known exactly what happened leading up to the infamous match, but the general consensus is that Bret Hart was planning to win the match and retain the WWE title, but lose it the next night of Raw and then leave for WCW. Vince McMahon, not so happy with that plan, so he made the referee in the match early and award Michaels the championship without Bret's knowledge. That is the extremely abridged version of the story, and some people even think that what we saw that night was all an elaborate ruse. I think it was. I wouldn't surprise me because I heard something. I read after I put this on here. I found something new about the screw job. Really? Yes. Keep on going, and I'll tell you. So it has been claimed that Brett was in on it the whole time, and the plan was carried out to elevate everybody involved. It does Which make it did. some sense since Brett became the most talked about wrestler at the time, and Vince immediately became the biggest heel in the business. Shawn Michaels gets to be the champ again, and the Attitude Era is born. So was Brett in on it? That is doubtful at breast. Best. Brett's. Brett's. And, and breast. <laughs> and breast. And breast. Uh, breast. Are we getting back to AJ and, and then? There you go. Okay. That is doubtful at best. Brett's shock and disgust was so genuine that if it was faked, he deserves an Oscar. Well, I say, ladies and gentlemen, give that man an Oscar. Plus, the collaborating stories of Brett legitimately beating up Vince backstage point towards that Brett didn't know. Like most conspiracies, there so, yeah. may be oh, a well, grain well. of truth lying somewhere deep down. So the genius, the mad genius, Vince McMahon, would not take a black eye to put over a major right. story that involves a WWE and, and then Brett going to WCW? Right. But very few people know the exact the circumstances of that night. What other conspiracies seem to crop up a lot Many rumors go around about what happens backstage, but which ones really make you think that there is more to the stories than you think you see on the surface. And my thing is, yes, it helped Sean, and yes, it helped Vince, and it could go back to the old conspiracy thing I really talked about last week about Nash and Hall going to WCW and Vince being in on all that <laughs> yes, to know. help his company in the law room. Didn't help it first. In the long run, he could have said, They are there and they know backstage, hey Vince, uh, they're going to do this, 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 you're going to so. Right. They could have done, they could have had, okay, well, we're going to send Brett over there. Brett's going to make a ton of money, sacrifice all that, all the, really the good TV time because he was never put into a, tie, a good title picture until towards the very end right. that he was there. Because Which they didn't know it was going to be the two toward the end. I mean, freak accidents happen. Right. Goldberg did kick him in the head. Goldberg Sorry. should not be doing super kicks. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Now, this is a story for another day, yes. That's right. But my whole thing is, you know, Brett could have said, okay, I'll take the money and y'all take the war. I, I mean, that would have been great because they started the Attitude Era off of that. Yes. And Brett made a ton more money in WCW than he did in WWE. He hated his time in WCW because... You don't give a man that he's the most talked about wrestler at the time because they screwed him over. You don't give him the U.S. title. You put him in the title picture. You mm -hmm. give him the world championship. Oh, yes. You say, this man was screwed, and we're going to make things right. WCW does things right by their wrestlers. We don't screw the wrestlers over. No. Only X-Pac, because we, we <laughs> threw him out the door. But anyway. Yes, but he, he made up for him when did. he came back. Yes. He did. And I love, I love stuff like that. I love truth. I wish they would talk about TNA. Yeah. I wish somebody would come and say, or go, I mean, they go to TNA. And I mean, they kind of they kind of did back in the day was, what's his name, Caval. It was yes. low-key. Low-key did a little thing about yes. NXT, but they didn't really elaborate but on it. But on the Bret Hart thing, what I found out, it could be true, may not be true, they said he still had a month left on his deal with WWE. Okay. He, They said that he couldn't have taken the belt because WCW wouldn't have done that because they still had a lawsuit against them for the from Medusa when thing. Medusa. So they wouldn't have brought that, t that right. title on their TV show and took the chance of being sued again. Right. Because they were also already sued because of the whole likeness uh, of Nash and Hall. Oh, yeah, saying, we're not saying who they are, but we sure are pointing to like they are. Right. 
Hey, yo, exactly. the big man, you know. So, I mean, they could, you know, that would have been a third lawsuit. That might have been three strikes you out. Ted Turner might be like, look, I need to cut my losses. Y'all y'all messing me up. Yeah, because Vince, you know? I mean, because I know Vince, if, they, if Vince needed money, he's going to do what he has to do. Right. But, I mean, I don't, I mean, if it, if it, it that, I mean, if it's true, we'll never, I mean, we, we'll may, never know. we may never know. But how great is that for somebody to come up with that? Yep. I mean, it started the Attitude Error. It sent Brett over to get a ton of money with WCW. I mean, he had a decent run, but it, I mean, he had because he had a twenty-year deal with Vince, and then Vince, you know, couldn't pay him. Right. So if they work a deal where, where he gets what he was supposed to get from Vince plus some from WCW, that's saving I, money. I, out this is my thing. This is my thing. Why in the world, as a as a wrestling talent, which their careers don't last that long? Why in the world do you want to sign a 20 year deal? I don't know. Desperate people do desperate things. There you go again. Desperate people do desperate things. There you go. This could have blew up in his face. And we'd be talking about WCW for $9.99. The WCW network. That is true. That's the way things fall. So. But and if you haven't caught the new WWE versus WCW, the Monday Night War the thing Monday Night is War very thing. good, very good. And detailed. You, can, you can watch a clean version, or you can watch a Kind of a dirty version. Really? Yes, they got they got two versions. I noticed they popped up too, and I didn't know what what that's the difference what it was. Is, yes, that's what it is. Huh? There's a PG version. I don't know what the other way, but it's, it's it's another one that says you know. Uh, I was wondering why they popped up two every time. It was very yeah. strange. That's and very also strange. also get on the network and yes. check out all the WCW Nitro. They have a, over a hundred hours. The, f the first two years. See, exactly. The first two years of Nitro. Was it 95, 96? Yep, that's it. When the first one started at the Mall of America. Mall of America. And then the second second week was in Miami, Florida. And that's probably, I mean, I don't remember. See, when they started that, I quit watching. I'm more of a WWE guy. Like, right. I'm, a, I'm a WWE mark. So, I don't know. It looked like they were just hours. Just one hour shows. They were at first. They were for They kind of started. Would, WWE did the same thing. Yeah, they, they did. Started they started all, did. They all did an hour. hour yes. So, Nitro, I think they were trying to test the waters, and they started out with an hour. And then they went to don't two. Know, I don't know if it was one hour for two years if they did the, you know. Thing, but then so. they went to they went to two hours later on, and then they did the same thing WWE is not needing to do, and that's going to three hours. No, w WCW did do that for a while, but it's just I mean I don't think three hours is a good idea. I mean they, WCW had plenty of talent to do three hours. Yes, but it's all about how you present it. It is how you present it, and yes. that's the same way with WWE. I, I you know, and most of the time you know I'm I'm at work I don't get to watch Raw all most of the time but here's right. my thing what I do see is every hour they repeat what happened beforehand this is what happened on our lot this is yes, what happened on I our hate, I hate that we don't need recaps that's no, ridiculous especially with them promoting what happened it was supposed to be this week see if you were just questioning about us very nice so so you get a clean version or a dirty version huh but I, I just don't I don't like how it's, you know, we need to repeat everything we did before. Here's the promo that John Cena had when he, was talking to, when he was talking to the three legends on the Legends panel. And then the second hour, here's the repeat. The, here's the repeat. You don't need that. Guess what? That's not helping your ratings to repeat exactly what happened. No. If, if you need to repeat it, then you're telling me that means your viewers are not following from hour to one, hour to two, hour to three. And they're That's not. what you're telling me. And they're not. And they're not. And that's a problem. And they need, I mean, I... And taking three hours and one of those hours being really bad, it kills your average. If you go down two hours, your average will go back up. Oh, yeah. I mean, they don't need three hours. They, they don't, don't need, need three hours. hours. Right, really and truly, they don't have enough talent for it. If they, they put more... They go 8 to 10, our, our central time, 8 to 10. Take. And you, that gives you more time to be on the network for nine ninety nine. Exactly. Take that hour off of there and put more effort into SmackDown. It's ridiculous. Should be live on Tuesdays. There you go. No more, no more taped. We need no more taped wrestling. Exactly. Live. You, hey, you want to see it? You have to watch it live, and then get the network for ninety nine and watch it thirty days later. Exactly. So <laughs> it was very interesting. I don't know if you saw this, but they actually had, as we had some more time, to, you know, talk yeah, about things. Yes. They actually, I don't know if, how legit it was, but they had the um, the Monday Night Raw. Um, Script leaked oh, online. Yes. yes, well, it's a bad script anyway. There you go. But it leak. <laughs> but it's so funny that 
word for word, these promos. Yeah, except You know, for putting the 999 things in there. We're scripted. I'm like, you know, just throw that in there. You ain't got a script. Nah, nah, nah. How stupid are these people? Like, I think they know that it's for 999. Your own company people would know that. Just plug it. That's, everybody says it. So why not just say, oh, okay, over here, over plug again. this. Plug this. And remember, of course, what the price is. You ain't got to put it in the script. That's ridiculous. No, you really don't. You know, and they even made mention on the on the script, oh, don't forget, 1,400 pounds of humanity in this tag team match. It's just ridiculous. The same thing that Mount, Mount Cole just gets in his ear all the time, so he just he just does what he's told. Right. It's just ridiculous. I, I mean, there's a lot of things that could change, and, you know, we're sitting here at a camera, behind a computer, whatever. I know we can't change things, and I right. understand some people say, well, there's no point in complaining about it if you can't change it. I get that. We're just giving our opinion, but I think a lot of things could change, and I think WWE, if they would give new ideas a chance, they would give new people a chance, they would make some money off of this, and they realize, you know what, we don't have to just depend on one person. They can't do it. They you try, they try, that way. they try, and then they don't see results like that, so they run around and go exactly. back to stuff. Exactly. And that right here, John Cena. I guarantee John you. John Cena, John Cena, John Cena. And now, like I said, all the people in the roster, and you say Big Show gets a next shot at Brock Lesnar. I Lester. guarantee you, if Daniel Bryan wouldn't have got injured, then if, if they would have said, oh, the ratings are low, let's go back to John Cena. Even with Daniel Bryan. Yeah. They, they, they would have blamed me. Yeah. They're not going to blame the Golden Boy. No. No. Never going to do that. You know, it's just ridiculous what kind of things they're doing. But you know what? I mean, I hope things do get better. I really do. We'll see. You know. But I am hopeful for the fact that we've got a lot of stuff going on, like we said, in indie promotions, you know, in the big ring of honors, the New Japans, even in the uh, New Heights Wrestling. A lot of things going in wrestling right now. Today, WWE, WWE is not the only talk of the town. No, but today indie stars could be tomorrow's WWE main eventers. Right. So, so get out. I mean, if you have a show... Get up and watch it because you could be seeing a future John Cena. That's <laughs> Hate true. To say it, but that's true. That is true. Yeah, if you if you if there's any kind of local promotion, go out there and watch your local promotion. Get out there and support indie wrestling, and because that, that's what we do. Yes. So because uh, very soon we will be supporting CSW. We've got brand new T-shirts coming in pretty soon in the mail, and we'll be supporting them on the show. We'll be wearing those. So but, uh, just support indie wrestling. So that's the good. There you go. Now, before we leave, for the bad. let's talk about the bad. And look on YouTube for the fourth, fourth installment, fourth installment of Bad Backyard Wrestling. It's Blue Number One versus Blue Number Two. Exactly. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. This match, you'll you'll join it in progress. Yes, yeah, it was so long. It's the match that never ended. It's the match that we never took ended. about the last seven minutes of it. Yes, it was but. so long that there was two different segments. And we just didn't want to bore you to do it. No. So. so we gave you the last half of the match, and I really think you're going to enjoy this match. You're going to enjoy the commentary. You're going to enjoy Blue versus Blue. Which blue person will win? I know. It will and be always, to add a little more funniness to it, click, click on the closed captions. Yes, closed, the closed captions, captions are hilarious because they cannot keep up with what we're talking about. No, we get all kinds of things. Very so. funny. But I want to thank everybody who tuned in this week to episode 26. We'll be back here next week to talk about our little, when we go down to New Heights. Yes, and we will also have an interview with, as he called himself, the Supernatural, Aaron Hart. As Aaron he retired Hart. at the Brad Armstrong Memorial Show, yes. we got an interview with him before he retired. We'll be talking about that. And uh, I, a lot more stuff, because there's a lot more coming in. So we'll have countdown. Hey, we'll say, hey, hey, this this Monday may be Chris Jericho's last match. That's true. For about six months, probably. There you go. So, we'll talk a lot of a lot of wrestling next week, right here on YouTube for Top Rope Reality.